Dude, what is up? Thank you for stopping by the booth. We're excited to be here. Tons of new prototypes here on the table. So let's just hop right into it. I'm gonna go kind of fast on these just because there's so many. There's just <laughs> so many to deal with. So we have a lot of in-house and collaborations, okay? So let's go this first one right here. And this will kind of go across the board. You, you will see full tie and 20 CV on all of these models right here, okay? Unless I specify otherwise. This is the Nexia. Awesome, clean frame lock right here. Mail pocket clip. Super subtle, kind of like a... What's going on with that pivot, man? Pivot, and then, yeah, we've got the lightning pivot on there. So it is titanium. We took the branding, because generally you see the branding on there. And then we just took it and put it on the pocket clip. I so, like that. That's cool. If you like kind of like a bigger belly knife, this is going to be perfect. Super clean fuller. Awesome speed holes going on. There's a lot of good stuff happening. Really cool. Next. This one's super exciting because this is a Gustavo Cicini design. This has got the solid, okay? This is a full integral titanium knife with Gustavo's SLT flipper tab. Oh, damn. Okay. SLT standing for spring loaded tab. SLT. <laughs> Get that, right? <laughs> Once you load up on that tab right there, knife just pops out and then hides back into the handle. Nice. Okay. So what, what happens right there is you get some super clean lines that are going across. Awesome, awesome like, uh, yeah, compound grinds right here. Uh, honestly, just a super well-designed knife. Like I got to try out that flipper, dude. Let's do it, man. It's like a flipper for people who don't like flippers. You got to load it up, and yep, there it is. Oh, that is cool. Hell yeah. Sweet. Okay, moving right along, we got this guy right here. This is a cyber, cyber, cyber medic, in-house design. Super clean lines on this one. Okay, full frame lock right here, front flipper, and the, the the funnest thing right here is that all these lines go right into the handle. Oh yeah. Okay. So super clean, nice sandwiched. Full. Uh, these are going to be that flame uh, titanium on there. And just kind of a bigger knife, but very minimalistic on the design itself. Awesome. Okay. This one's going to be the new design by Tony. It's TNT knives. Super slim. Okay. So no bag space here. This is just going to be kind of clamshelled in there. Okay. Nice uh, milled pocket clip. And the thing that kind of gets you on this one is the blade shape. Tell me the blade shape. Oh. <laughs> what the, uh, it's like five different things. Uh, I want to say like a tanto, but it's like a super deep tanto because you do yeah, have. Yeah. This is a flat grind right here, and then this comes to like a hollow grind. Nice. So okay. very unique blade shape, especially with that handle, super thin. But yeah, it's gonna be a nice working edge, right? Sorry, I keep moving these blades around all the time. <laughs> but yeah, super excited for this one from Tony. Moving right along, this one is a new design by Kyle Lamb. Um, space in the name right now, but deep carry pocket clip, titanium frame lock, nice clean worn clip, uh, cheap foot more, more like it, blade on there, and then in this one, this is like a pretty full knife, right? Inside, we actually milled out this titanium, okay? Not only do we mill it and make it freaking look awesome out here, but we milled inside to kind of cut down on that weight. So now it's going to be like a full-size knife, easily at probably over three and a half inches on the blade, but it's super light and definitely going to get that drop done. Love it. Okay. My favorite so far is this one, by the way. It's so clean. so yeah. fun. Another one super excited for, right? First design with Tashi Barucha. Okay. You guys remember one of his designs with uh, Riyadh? They did one with uh, the, the Starboy, right? So same designer. So super stoked about this one. Kind of gives you the grip that it kind of gives you on this one is like almost like a pistol, and it kind of gives that forward grip on there. So it definitely feels like it kind of wants want to dig in and start cutting. Um, <clears throat> super clean hand satin right there, and these will come in different colors on that. Nice, nice lines. Overall, it's a sweet little package. Nice. Smaller pocket clip on there. It is a small pocket clip, but it kind of disappears in your pocket, right? Yeah. So, really cool. 
All right, going right along. We have this one. This is going to be a very unique locking mechanism, okay? Right here, these two buttons. So you have one on this side and one on the other side as well, okay? You pull up and then you can slide it close. And then you can operate by the flipper. Okay? This is going to be called the pie lock, that lock mechanism. And then this knife is called the omic. Big titanium handle right there. Very definitely a large knife with a super clean belly. And is this an in-house or is this that is an in-house design? Okay. Yeah. Cool. You gotta remember the name of this one. The Nef Nefaris. Yeah, go into so, some close-ups of that lot. Whoa. Interesting. So you lift up on them kinda? Yep. You're gonna kinda lift up, yep, and then just kinda just rolls back into it. Huh. Next one, another in-house design. This is called the Nefaris. Got some nice carbon fiber inlays titanium handles and definitely have a nice kind of clip point blade on it some nice details on the handle itself some nice milling work on this lock bar to kind of blend in together and this flipper tab is very upswept okay so when you deploy that like it just takes nothing like you don't even have to try because even when you like when you fully use a flipper, the knife's already out halfway, right? And so when you yank that down, it just flicks out with with authority. <laughs> Sick. So, super cool. Okay, another one right here. This is a not not named yet, but it is designed by Raphael. Um, super clean Tonto. You know, you got the flat grind going on with the hollow, and then full titanium with some really nice accent on there. Nice milled pocket clip and their Oz, uh, stainless steel insert on there. You kind of see the, the transition. We've been doing a lot of small knives, but we do have a lot of big knives. That for uh, I mean, people that like the big knives, right? So, super fun. Now, to kind of get to the smaller knives, right? This is going to be the, let me see if I can see it, the Minokawa. Tiny little dude, okay? Really, really snappy action on this one because the blade's so tiny. Okay, and what's unique about this, let me grab one of the other versions so you can see it a little bit better. So, it's the same thing on this one, it's just a little hard to see, but you have titanium frame, like titanium skeleton, the Timascus insert with G10 integral backspacer, okay? So say that 10 times fast, right? So there's a lot happening right here. It's the same thing with this one. It's just you can't see that G10 okay. very well. Gotcha. Okay, so yep, that's an integral backspacer right there. So it's just one piece that's kind of put in to the in insane. insert and the skeleton of the knife itself. Yeah. This is going to be carbon fiber on this one. And then this one is the Timascus. So definitely we'll have different flavors. Yeah. Uh, this one is a new Torbay design. So you know, again, some crazy stuff happening. Super nice one cliff, very, very loud one cliff. Going into nice milling work on the handle, and then these inserts. I mean, there's divots right here, going up right here, and that's going to be that kind of the nebulous uh, fat carbon. And you have the signet ring going on, and the pocket clip is on the back of the knife. Okay, and this is a button lock, and this just snaps. It's just snappy. And you play with, play with that. I, I think this is in the top two or three so far. Super fun. This is cool. Love it. Okay. So that was a new one di uh, by Torbay Designs. Me, see the the name on that one is the the Yarbird. Okay. That's all the Wii stuff. So tons of stuff coming from Wii. You can expect these to see these in the next five to six months, maybe sooner. You know how it is, guys. <laughs> so why is there so few Savivis, man? I What's We just kind of focused on? on a lot of the collaborations we're doing and stuff <laughs> like that. Because with these, like, you get Tashi and you have you Corbett can just Nice. You a whole bunch of new Savivis, you can't, too. So. Yeah. And you yeah. can't get them. I mean, when you look at these custom designers, like, if you look at a custom Gustavo knife, what are you going to look at? A few thousand dollars, right? And so what's nice about this is that you're able to get a custom design 
at a nice, still really well, good quality, right? So, moving right along to the Civivi, okay? We just barely, obviously, you know about the Qubit. This is probably one of the best sellers. We are selling this one now. It's out, okay? Super fun knife, aluminum scales, button lock. I, and I gotta ask you, is that intentional or not intentional? I honestly don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the internet wants to know. So I know, I mean, I've used it as one. We used it on the live on our last show we were yeah. at. And it works. Well, I guess we should tell everybody. So, you got a bottle opener. Right? Yep. The bottle opener, it does work right there. It, it works really well. So that's super fun. If it wasn't intentional, it's like it was meant to be. It definitely was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Another one that was just barely released is this Gustavo Sacchini Hypersonic. So you can kind of see the design kind of going from there to this oh, yeah. one. Same designer. Love it. From that Wii. And this one is full. Got stainless steel, kind of like construction with some G10 inserts right there. Okay, so those ones are for sale right now. Now, going into some of the prototypes. These are exciting. Look at this. This is going to be this. this so it's designed by Snex. This is the Vision FG. Nitro V steel, micarta scales, and stainless steel skeleton. Okay. Super fun. Some improvements or some changes that we've done to this one from the Vision R. This, uh, the lock bar. So it's nice lock. We kind of raised it a little bit and gave it some jimping right there. So that's going to be a little bit easier to get your finger attached to, right? Pocket clip is now on the side. It is reversible. Yeah. Okay. And then thumb stud action instead of the, like, the hole, the, the knife hole. And it's got to be a lot more affordable too than the Wii. Correct. Version. This one's going to come in at 76 bucks. That's insane. Okay. Very cool. Now, I know we're all excited for this one as well. This is a new Ben Peterson design. This one's called the Cedar. Super clean lines. Kind of looks like it's like this little pocket pill. Okay. Something to notice is that flipper tab is very hidden. Deep carry pocket clip. Awesome construction with the steel skeleton and the G10 scales kind of a classic barlow exactly pattern. and the blade if i remember correctly it's kind of spade like a spade blade yep so it, I, it's, it's got a couple of secrets too doesn't it It does we'll hop right here to the back kind of hidden my fingernails don't like like to get in but you got some tweezers and then you got bam a toothpick so a Backup knife, actually. Yes, it's very pointy <laughs> for sure. <laughs> are they okay. going to keep that same toothpick in the production models? Do you think? Or I, I was talking to Ben. There might be some small changes, but I'm not positive. So, the good thing, I mean, that's like you said, these are all prototypes. So there might be some small changes going forward. I think so. On the table, love this one from Wii, but overall, man, this one's pretty exciting. You get the classic Barlow, but it's really banter-esque too. Got the inset clip, flush hardware, inline flipper. That's just really, really cool. Yeah, no, it's it. really nice design from Ben Peterson. Oh, I need we're, to we're see stoked. this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we almost forgot about it, right? Yeah. Okay, this is a new design by Osop Hill. Look how tiny this guy is. I mean, that's my pinky. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, this is a tiny little fixed blade. Tiny. Okay, we're going to be doing 14C28 on this. But just a tiny little, like, I mean, if you like to carry, like, a small little fifth pocket knife or if you do like something on your neck, like, that's going to go perfect because you're almost going to forget about it. That's crazy. And that literally, guess how much this is going to be? How much? $23, man. Nice. Okay. Super affordable. It's going to be great for just a small little blade. Yeah. But anyway, guys, that's what we have oh, yeah. for me and some Thanks, so keep Kyle. Look out. You're the man. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, bro.